The new boss, day one. This is the most important thing that I can tell you. And we waste it learning the job. I had a great boss who taught me this. You do all your research beforehand and on day one, you come in like storming Norman Schwartz got through the door. You've done all your research beforehand and this is what you need to do to make sure day one has that power. It's a countdown. Never, ever, ever learn with your own money. Go and find the best in the world in the sort of business that you're taking over. You need to know where you could take it. Start from there, not from how bad it is where you are now. Then perhaps spend a week doing the invisible customer shopping, but with steel toe caps on. Phone up on a Friday at 4.30 and be a bit vague. If you've got people who you can do this with, put them in. I had two guys who used to go and work in the warehouse or whatever and gave me the feedback. You can imagine where I am by the time I got to the previous week. I knew where the company should be going. I knew how bad it was and what it wasn't doing. And then you have one more week. And in that week, you do this. Hello, I'm John Donnelly. And as you've probably heard, I'm going to be your new boss as and from next Monday. What are you doing tomorrow? Right. I'll be with you at 8 o'clock, I'll pick you up for your house, I've got your address, right. and then you've got a load of questions you ask them, one at a time. Will it put the fox in the hen coop? Of course it will, but why not? And then this is what happens on day one. Because remember, that's when you've got the power. On day one, that meeting, I'll show you how to choreograph it, but that meeting, you can even ask questions like this. Okay, we've now agreed this, this and this, you're not doing so and so, that's not happening, we must fix those issues. All right, you're going to do that, you're going to do that, you're going to do that. What progress will you have made by this time next Monday? Yeah, that's the end of day one. You just give it to them, you can give them some help, you can give them some sheets. But then what do you do, days two, three and four? Well, I'll tell you. You don't have to worry, they'll be flat out. Don't worry about them ganging up on you. And also... Within a week, you'll know who can cut the mustard. Let me now tell you, I can't resist it, what you do in days two, three, four and five. You take the time off. You'll need a rest and if you stay, you'll become part of the problem again. This is going to be the new webinar and there'll be at least two, possibly three videos to go with it as well. Hey, and it's all free.